Ja, i skoen. Tak, tak. Um, it's a great thing to do, obviously get the interest going as much as we can and come to a school and, and teach the kids and tell them about the game and you know let them have a shot themselves and, and just hopefully it just, if you get a handful at least that go, you know, mum, dad, I want to come and play snooker, it's, it's been brilliant today, I want to go to the snooker club sometime and have a game and it's just all about raising the interest and the awareness and, and trying to get a new breed of players coming through eventually, hopefully. Um. Even if you think you can't do it, you can because they're there to help you and if you just follow your passion on it, you can do it. Put your thumb next to the finger there. There we go. And run the cue on top there, yeah. And then just try just bring and this bring arm a little around. bit lower down so it's... There we go. That's it, nice and low so you can get through the middle of the ball. That's it. That's it, well done. He's <laughs> always been lucky, Gary. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's a side, it's through, haven't it? <laughs> so scores, am I seven behind? Seven behind. <laughs> scores are level, three spots. <laughs> yeah, it's one. <laughs> well done. How many trick shots have you done? Trick shots. I used to actually do trick shots when I was younger. Um, I used to do exhibitions. So that's when you just maybe go to a club and play like a handful of players and just try and show off really. We focus a lot more now with so many tournaments on just trying to play snooker and just trying to win. So it's something that I haven't done for a long time. I don't know about yourself, any trick shots? You're a pool no. player, so probably a few. Maybe on a pool <laughs> table I could do a few, but I'm not much of a trick shot man on a snooker table at the minute, but I'll have to get the practice in. Out of you two, who has almost broke the record? I think you, with the centuries. Probably with the centuries, it? yeah. So making a hundred break in a row, like every frame, I think, I think the record's four or five in a row. I've made four in a row, so almost broke the record and made five. Um, I think I actually missed the black on a 147 as well. It yeah, was I against think Chris. I remember watching that yeah. match. Favourite matches? Favourite matches? Uh, I think any time we play on, on telly for me is a big occasion. So Obviously, after winning the Scottish Open in December, that was, that's going to be one of my favourite matches because it was a final of a big event and I won. So I won the trophy. I'll, I'll never forget that. It was my first one. Um, and also probably a few years ago in the World Championship semi-final that I mentioned earlier, just because it was such a big occasion. Um, they changed the arena from two tables to one table in the middle for the semi-finals and the final. So I managed to play in that arena with one table at the Crucible in Sheffield, which is like the game's biggest venue. So that'll always be one of my favourite matches as well. You know, they might not have even known what snooker was or who we were or anything about the game. So. If, if we get an extra two, five percent, um, that's that's five percent more than we would have done before today. So hopefully they can, you know, they're going to go home and ask their parents to take them down to the club this weekend.